hello everyone welcome to another video so today's video will be very short and simple we only today will be creating the logs how can we log the executions in our notepad file uh, using the power automate so process of log is very simple in power automate we just have to write each step in the notepad file so that if uh, execution fails uh, we could know uh, where it failed we, we, so that we can log the each step and what is the failure, what is the exception that we got. These all things we need to write in a notepad file during the logging. So let's see how can we do that. Let us first um, create a subflow for this. Is let's say startup. So basically startup in a startup we basically close all the application that we want to use in our flow okay so <coughs> so in this flow we are using chrome right so let's say that if chrome is running then terminate it uh, instead of terminate we will today use the dos command okay so for dos command i have already written it's basically a task kill command so here is the command task kill means we want to kill the task i am is image name uh, image name that is chrome and slash f means forcefully close it okay let's use it here and save so what it will do if chrome is running this will kill the chrome application okay okay now <clears throat> in here we can also use to kill the excel application so let me just so here let's say excel save and we just have to change the image name to excel okay so for each startup all the excel instances will be killed and for uh, during the startup all chrome instances will be killed now let's say uh, we need to set a path for our logs so let's take a path So I am taking this folder as the root path for logs creation. Okay, let's rename this log file path and name it to this. Okay, we can also just give it logs or we can also give a process name uh, like create order logs like this. Okay. Now we also want to make sure that uh, the folder is created. Okay, so now let's create a folder first. Let's use create folder. let's take this name from here and put it into the create folder okay so this will have our the final folder path log file path okay so we have created the folder then we want to uh, write a notepad file okay so here we can say that okay the execution has started 
right we can use the right text to file we can take <clears throat> log file path and we can say that okay execution has started we need to append the content okay and then save it now we have given this right text to file let's create a different subflow for this to write the text to files okay so we can write it write logs okay and from startup we can just copy this here okay and let's create a variable where we will be setting the logs okay so let's say logs message and we give it here as execution start it okay and in write logs we can give the variable directly Append the content. See. Now for each day we have to create one log file. So in order to do that, let's first get a the date time of current date time. So get current date time. Okay, current date time will get this. Okay, now. <coughs> in the log file path what we can do is from the current date time we can have that okay on this day and then month and then year Okay, so bot will create a log file with day, month, year, dot, txt. Okay, and it will log the message as execution started. Okay, also we want to log the date time before any log message. So for that, we can just simply use current date time and log. Okay, now let's save it and in the startup here we can just call our subflow. So here if you see the time is different so it has correctly logged the file. So here what we can do is we can have uh, this log file these two stages at so let's say the bot has read the input file. right 
once bot has read the input file we can just paste these logs to here and we can say that input file closed successful okay we can also write in here that okay create orders subflow started okay and we can say that assigning variable is done we can give here that room launched okay so this is how we give the log so let's see how it runs So to uh, capture the exception detail, we have already have this capture exception detail subflow. Let us first call it and create orders. Here we can just now using this we will have our error in the exception detail okay and we just have to write these exception details we just have to write the logs now okay whenever there is some issue we can Just call our right logs. Now let's see how our logs will look.
so if you see our execution has started this time and if you see it has failed the failed logs are also here like failed at subflow create order stages 22 and exception details this is how we can log our power, power automate log so <coughs> exception for each exception this is how we can do it simply run subflow exception details log message and write logs and for each successful logs we can just copy paste these like this and example here we can give that status updated for we can take the first name like this and at the end we can just simply give that ok the execution has been completed and here we can give stop the flow stop the flow successfully and save okay so that's how we create logs in power automate let me know in the comment section below how what are some best practices to create logs what are different methods except these write logs that how we can create logs thanks for watching bye bye